channel, the Baking Diva. I know the last few videos have not been baking, but I'm back. And, uh, oh, and by the way, I did do um, a Timu haul, <laughs> the uh, online marketplace that I did a little shopping in. And if you haven't already seen that, go back and take a look. But I just wanted to tell you, this top I have on, I like unusual things. And I think this was cute. And I got it from Timu and it fits fine. And I don't remember the price right now. I think it was around $7, <laughs> I'm not sure. But anyway, enough of that. Let's move on with our recipe. Today, I am making for you these potatoes that will knock your socks off. <laughs> They, I'm calling them garlic mozzarella potatoes, and you make them in one of those jumbo muffin pans. Mm -hmm. So I'll put the recipe down below for you. It's super simple. But what do you say we get started? Let's get started. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit the little bell down below and the subscribe, and that's all there is to it. So I have preheated my oven to 370 degrees. You're going to need one of these muffin pans. This is the six well large muffin pans, okay? So let me just put this aside for a minute. You're going to use red potatoes, the red skin potatoes, not the little mini ones, just the regular size ones. You don't need to peel them, all right? And what we're gonna do, I already did one, but I'm gonna show you on camera how to do the rest. I have a nice sharp knife here. I'm going to hold a potato like this, not down like this. I'm going to hold it up and down like this. And I am going to slice right through the middle. Watching, I don't slice my finger. All the way down, just like that. That was easy, right? And then I'm going to slice it this way, okay? So you're going to slice it into four pieces, just like that. There you go. Okay, let me move these aside. And then I'm going to take my muffin pan and I'm going to take each of these four pieces and I'm going to stand them upright. So let me do this for you and then I'll put in a picture. See how easy that was? They're just standing upright, just like that. I already cut up a couple of them, so let me just take these and do the same thing. You're going to stand them upright like this, and um, you're going to put the four of them in there, just like that. Looks like a claw. <laughs> now, once you get them all in there, and I'm going to do that off camera, cutting up the last one for you, lengthwise, straight down the middle, and then Two more cuts. I'm going to move my cutting board out of the way. Let me move my muffin tin in front of me and put the last slices of potato in there. You can work with it a little bit, but it only takes a second. There you go. And I have them all put in there. Okay. Now, once you have them like that, you're going to take a pack of butter and you're going to put it in the center of each one of those potatoes. So here we go, just like that. Place it right in the center of the potato. You're going to love these. Alrighty, get that in there. Mmm. I'm going to try to put some pictures in as I go along so you'll see what I'm doing. Add a butter in there. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Just got one more to put butter in. Okay. Alrighty. So they all have the butter inside them. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, and I use this. I use this squeezy garlic, you know, in the container. Um, so the minced garlic. So I have a spoon, I'm just going to put a little bit in each one, just about that much, right along with the butter. Oh yeah. Garlic, butter, potatoes, and we're not even done yet. 
Okay. That in there. I'm gonna put this right in the last one. Oh yeah. I think I put a little extra butter in there, but who cares? Did anybody say you have too much butter? I don't think so. Alrighty, good. Got our garlic in there now. We can take a little salt and sprinkle some salt in there. Each one. And then I'm gonna do a little pepper. Okay. Alrighty. Looking good. Okay. Now I am gonna put these in my preheated 370 degree oven for about 45 minutes. And then I'm gonna take them out and show you what I do next, so don't go away. Okay, I just took the potatoes out of the oven. They were in there for about 45 minutes. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take shredded mozzarella cheese and I'm gonna sprinkle mozzarella cheese in these babies. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. Yum, yum, yum. And I'm gonna put them back in the oven for about five minutes till the cheese melts. And then we're gonna be able to eat them and do a taste testing. Oh yeah, let me shove that one in there. <laughs> All right, so back in the oven they go. And I'll be back when the cheese is melted and we'll do a taste testing. So stay tuned. Okay, I just took them out of the oven after five minutes. The mozzarella cheese is all, ooh, it's all melted. It's red hot. So let me see if I can get this out. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh my, this looks so good. Look at the cheese in there, holy moly. So let me move this over. So, oh, I wanna do a taste testing. Ugh. Look at that, oh my goodness. Get a knife over here and a fork. They're gonna be pretty hot. But I can't wait to dig in. Oh. oh. Let's see. Okay. Oh. Let me see how these babies are. Whew. Woo. Hot. Mmm. Oh. Very good. I like salt. So, mm, I put a little bit more salt on there. Mmm, so. They're a little, um, they're not mushy. The garlic in here is good. Next time I might even put a little bit more garlic in, but they're good. Mmm, very good. Now, if you want your potatoes a little softer, you could probably leave them in maybe another five or 10 minutes, but mmm, so good. So I'm putting some pictures in for you. I hope you'll give these a try. Something different, and it sure is delicious. And don't forget, if you wanna see more of my recipes, come on back. So I love you all. Um, I thank you all for supporting my channel, and I'll see you all very soon. Make these garlic mozzarella potatoes.